hi guys welcome back to my channel today's topic is very important that is for the welding institute CSWIP that is the part that part is the welding inspection defects repair mostly the discussion will be the most defects will be come in your uh, will be appear in your exam paper the defects will be discussed here that is the course reference you can say WIS5 that course reference that is the part is holding inspection defect repair how we have to check the defects mostly the defects which type of defects will be there that will be discussed this is the part one all defects cannot explain in one uh, presentation that's why this is the part one so first things you have to know defects which may be detected by visual inspection can be grouped under the following heading so which defect will be detected in visual inspection or by visual inspection can be grouped under the that is the two groups will be there one is you can say cracks solid inclusion the which type of defects are there the different types of defects have the different name. So the defects will be there, cracks, solid inclusion, surface and profile defects. All the defects will be discussed one by one in each presentation, each slide. Misalignment, setup, irregular, irregularities, gas pores and porosity. Lack of fusion, mechanical damage, parent material damage, and the miscellaneous so these are the defects are the most common defect it will be appear in your paper cracks solid inclusion surface and profiles misalignment gas pores and porosity lack of fusion mechanical damage brain material damage miscellaneous so these people these defects you have to understand first how it looks like and how it can uh, understand the defects it is really it is defect or not so first will be go the presentation the cracks the so very important this section the cracks we have to understand the what is cracks and how it will be appear how it will be recognized the cracks first things cracks that may occur in welded materials are caused generally by many factors so the cracks it will become it will be appear or it, <clears throat> there is a welded material that caused generally by many factors that classified in shape and position cracks are classed as planar so you have crack are classed as planar this called the planar defect the crack called the planar defect so these are classified in different one is shape and the position the two types there is a so you can understand the classified by shape how it looks like by shape longitudinal cracks transverse cracks branch cracks and the chevron cracks these are the cracks you can understand by shape means you can see visually or radiography images you can understand these are the cracks now you have to check the classified by position which position it will it will be there in which area crack will be there the head position center line means old center line you can say the crater so crater we can you can discuss you can discuss the crater which area fusion zone so these are the and the parent metal so these are the two things you have to understand the classified in cracks two types one is shape and other is position in the shape you can see the longitudinal cracks transverse branch chevron and the classified by position mean which position it can flow it uh, it looks uh, a cracks which area it, it is developed hedge hedge area heat affected zone the center line of the weld the crater crater means the every position in the welding starting position that is the crater position is there that can be it can uh, develop the crack there fusion zone and the parent metal so these are the things you have to understand the shape and position that is a two sector now we'll discuss the process cracks 
process cracks how it can generate the process cracks means when the welding will be done welding is ongoing in that time the process at that time crack will be generated that is the first crack is the hydrogen induced cold cracking the hydrogen induced cold cracking that cracking you have to know for the basic idea what is mean by hydrogen induced cold cracking hydrogen cracking it is called the cold cracking or delayed cracking means after 72 hours you can find out this cracking the principle of this cracking what it occurs in ferrite steel most often immediately on welding or a short time after welding so after welding you can find out this cracking cold cracking immediately and this cracking is definitely occur up to 72 hours after the weld is completed so after welding completed 72 hours you can find out this crack it is called also delayed cracking means it's after 72 hours you can find out this cracking it can occur in the you can say the weld metal also it can occur in the heat affected zone so this you have the basic idea you have to understand hydrogen induced cold cracking what is this now solidification that is called a hot tearing the solidification cracking what is solidification what is mean by the solidification cracking means the hot cracking means hot tearing you can say the formation process of shrinkage cracks during solidification period of weld metal means the solidification when the metal is solidifying at the time at the same time the crack will is generated that is called the solidification cracking you can see what is the main cause of the solidification cracking you have to understand the overriding cause is solidification cracking is that the will bead in the final stage of the solidification the when in the weld bead when it is solidifying at the last stage means weld bead you can say at the final capping position in that position may be insufficient strength is there to withstand the con contraction stresses is generated as the weld pool so it can solidify and it at the time of solidifies the crack will be generated that is called the solidification cracking that is the most important chapter so i can understand i can say now the solidification cracking the basic things now lamellar tearing what is lamellar tearing where it is occur lamellar tearing occurs is always a joint in high through thickness like you can say the t-joint wherever the t-joint is there or the corner joint is there you can say that area the lamellar tearing it can be occurs why why it is lamellar tearing occur in the t joint or the corner joint this is the most important factor is the high localized stress or low ductility of the plate in full thickness condition that's why the lamellar tearing will be occurred so these are the all the cracks this is the process cracks when the lamellar tearing will be there definitely there will be cracks reheat cracking what is reheat cracking reheat cracking is the occur low alloy steel containing what the alloying addition in the uh, molybdenum and the chromium so this is the reheat cracking so you have to understand the process crack this is the four types of crack hydrogen induced hicc solidification cracking lamellar tearing and the reheat cracking now we we'll go the cracks how it looks like you see longitudinal parent metal crack it's parent metal crack it's not in the weld position you understand here it's see you see the parent metal crack in the longitudinal the same line and the in the as the, as the same line in the welding so that's like a longitudinal parent metal crack now longitudinal weld metal crack it is in the weld parent metal that's a parent metal crack if it is in the weld so you see the weld bead there is a uh, long weld crack that is the longitudinal weld metal crack now you can see the lamellar tearing so lamellar tearing i already said that is uh, appear always uh, happened in the t-joint 
you can see lamellar tearing is happening in the T joint, the hedge area. You can understand the fusion or boundary. Beyond the fusion boundary, there is happened in this area lamellar tearing. And this is the transverse volumetal crack. This is the perpendicular of the weld joint. You can see the transverse weld metal crack. All this weld metal crack you cannot see maybe visually. Definitely it can be appear in the radiography image. You can understand. But these four cracks you have to understand the four cracks how it will be happen and how it will be generated there. Now you have to check in the radiography image is cracks how it looks like see here what is what is this crack this is called this crack is the transfer crack this is your welding this is your welding the cracks will generated here so, so that is called the transverse crack so you see here one thin line is here one thin line is here and one thin line is here so this type of crack this type of line is coming in the radiographic image so it means that transverse cracks is generated there if it is longitudinal, you can see the longitudinal, there is a crack from here to here. This crack is a longitudinal crack. So this crack is radiography image, definitely the image is coming like this way. So you have to understand this. Now, cracks is the basic things you have understood. Now crack is finished. Now we'll go, now we'll go for inclusion. This will also come in your exam paper the exam sample definitely the inclusion will become the what is inclusion and how, how many types of inclusion are there inclusion is a gas cavity is one of the example what is gas cavities gas pores 1.5 mm blow hole and uh, greater than 1.5 mm so gas pores less than 1.5 mm and the blow hole greater than 1.5 mm so this is is not acceptable uh, uh, acceptance criteria so you can understand you see gas ports and the blow hole this is example gas port is the less than 1.5 mm and the blow hole is the one point more than 1.5 mm so this is the gas port and the blow hole acceptance criteria you see the herringbone porosity that is root piping In the root piping you see here this is the solid inclusion this is one is the not solid inclusion this is the inclusion under the gas cavities so gas cavity is one of the inclusions so these are the you can find out the all the defects in the radiographic image how what is the cause of this inclusion means gas cavities loss of gas silt in the welding when you are doing welding maybe your gas is not continuously feeding in proper way Maybe there is gas is lost, the gas is finished, or gas is uh, less uh, uh, generated to that area. That's why that gas pore is generated. Damp electrode is there. If it is damp electrode, definitely the gas porosity will be there. Gas pore. Contamination, if there is any contamination, means that area will not be melted properly. The pore, pore will be generated. That is arc length too large. If it is arc length too large, definitely the gas force will be there. Damage electrode flux. If it is electrode, definitely the damp electrode, that is the problem of porosity will be generated. Also, the, if it is damage electrode flux also, then definitely also the porosity will be generated. Now, moisture on parent metal. If it is see, if you see the parent metal moisture, definitely the porosity means gas force or borehole can be generated. Last is the welding current too low. Too low or too high welding current, it is very important for your welding. So definitely welding current is, uh, if it should be at for the WPH, what is the requirement in that area, in that basis you can, you can, you, you have to do the welding, you have to check the welding. So this is gas cavities. Now we'll go for the inclusion, the second part, gas cavities, radiographic image. So you can see this is the welding. Gas cavities, how it is looks like. Yeah, so many gas cavities are there in the in the root area. You can see in the top area. The top means this is the uh, weld bead area. 
capping area you will see so many gas cavities and the root area you can see the root area the below position this is the root area you can see the gas pores you see blow hole this is blow hole this is blow hole this is blow hole so you can understand the gas pore this one this is the blow hole now gas cavities radiographic images how it look like you see cluster porosity that's called the gas porosity gas pore that is called cluster porosity you can see so many images are there in the black dot area in thickness it's a little bit more so if you see find out in the radiographic images definitely it is cluster porosity and if you see this area the herring bone porosity is like that you see here here how, where it is generated in the capping just below the capping position you see how it looks like this is the heading one porosity and this is your cluster porosity now we'll go for the inclusion the second part the solid inclusion that is for gas cavities you have finished that is also inclusion now the solid inclusion solid inclusion means the slag inclusion slag is generated when you are doing the welding so slag inclusion are defined as the non-metallic inclusion caused by some welding process so these are the uh, in the welding process you can find out uh, that slag is generated inclusion are defined is inside and in the world that is called the slag inclusion that is called the also solid inclusion you see here the slag inclusion lack of sidewall fusion with associate slag means the area you are not properly cleaned in the between of the adjacent bead that's why the slag is generated here. In the same condition, in the in area lack of sidewall also, sidewall is not cleaned properly. And the uh, in the previous run, so that's why the lack of sidewall fusion with associate slag is generated. So this slag inclusion also this slag inclusion is called the solid inclusion. You can find out this slag inclusion in the capping in your exam in your uh, in your uh, plate sample or pipe sample definitely this is a very important you can find out parallel slag lines lack of internal internal fusion and plus slag means you can see here here slag here slag in the root you have finished after the second end there is not clean properly the slag is generated also maybe you can say this area is not melted properly that's why the slag is generated and the, this area you can understand the lack of internal fusion means you have finished this run the previous run is completed after that this area is not properly cleaned and they are they are just started the uh, an, another run so it is not clean that's why the slag is there already so lack of internal fusion is there plus slag means Interrun fusion is not clean, interrun fusion is not there, and slag is generated. So that is called lack of interrun fusion plus slag. So slag is generated from where? That is very important. Slag is originated from welding flux. Flux is, if it is welding, flux is not there, definitely slag will not be generated. The slag is generated from the welding flux. Flux is for shielding the material. But if it is flux is not clean properly, then the it is inclusion will become in the welding joint. That is one type of defect. Mag and TIG welding process procedure silica inclusion. Because there is a silica is there, mag and TIG. Because tungsten inert gas welding, there is a tungsten is there. So that's called the silica inclusion. Flag is caused by inadequate cleaning. If it is not, I already said that inadequate cleaning is the most important thing. If it is not clean properly, then slag will be generated. Other inclusion include tungsten and copper inclusion from the TIG and MAG welding process. If you see that some of the white inclusion is there inside of the welding, the purely white. So you can say understand that it is a TIG means tungsten inert gas. Tungsten inclusion means this welding process is done by the TIG welding process. So you understand the solid inclusion means the slag inclusion where it is generated and how it is generated. Now, how it is radiographic image, you can say the interplus slag inclusion. You see here, this is your welding. This is this is this is the slag inclusion. This is the slag inclusion. Means this is the interplus slag inclusion. 
that the inter plus flag inclusion. Now, this is your elongated flag inclusion means where it is generated. This is the most important thing. This is the root in the root area. This is generated this flag lines. You have finished the root or you have just doing the root at the root area. You have finished, but this area is not cleaned properly. And the second that they are second done, they are already started. Uh, but they are not clean properly. That's why the line is coming, you see, in the root area. So, this is called elongated flag lines in the root. Definitely, you can understand here. Here, the root is there, is it? It's not clean properly. The flag is there. You can see here where it is uh, here, here, here is the interface flag inclusion. Now, lack of fusion. For lack of fusion, there is a, so many defects are there. Lack of fusion. Surface and profile defects, lack of fusion. What is this? Surface and profile defects, there is so many defects are there the, because of the, there is no fusion. So, you can see here, incomplete field group plus lack of sidewall fusion. Means, this is surface and profile defects. You can see by visually. That's why it's called the surface and profile defects one of the defects but this is called the lack of fusion defects you can see here this area incomplete field group you understand that is not field properly the incomplete field group and lack of sidewall fusion that this wall is not fusion properly so this is called incomplete field group plus lack of sidewall fusion and this is you see here lack of sidewall fusion is here this is lack of sidewall fusion plus the lack of intergrant fusion. Two things are there. So this is the surface and profile defects. Surface and profile defects, this is the category. One is incomplete field group plus lack of sidewall fusion, you can see. The second is the lack of sidewall fusion plus lack of intergrant fusion. So you have to understand interrun. This is one run and the second run is maybe third run. That run between the run that is lack of interrun interrun so why it is this type of defect is is uh, coming first is the poor older skill definitely any defect is coming first things are the poor older skill and maybe the your machines is not the calibration this is the very important thing first your welder should be approved welder and your machine should be calibrated Second is the incorrect electrode manipulation. Your electrode manipulation is not correct. Means your weaving, means there is stranger and weaving. There is two types of uh, your uh, electrodes, uh, how it is going in your bead. Two things are there. There is stranger and weaving. That electrode manipulation is not correct. Third is arc blow. Arc blow is wrong. Incorrect welded current and setting, current and voltage. Current and voltage, if it is incorrect, definitely the lack of fusion will be there. This is the very important in welding. If it current and voltage will be the good, uh, current and voltage is uh, very important because of the it can be, uh, it can, uh, if it is wrong, then it can be, it will be defect will be there. Incorrect table speed. If it is table speed is more. Uh, it is if it is low flow and it is more the both things are the problem it will be go to the as per the wph incorrect travel speed is there then it will be come surface and profile defect now last is the incorrect interrun cleaning if it is definitely interrun cleaning if you are not it is not there definitely the lack of sidewall fusion or lack of interrun fusion will be there so these are the surface and profile defect and why it is coming that is explained here Now overlap, that is also called the lack of fusion, overlap is not correctly and imperfection at the top of the root of weld caused by a metal flowing on the top surface of the parent metal without fusion to it. Means definitely without fusion, means the lack of fusion, that is called also that is Term, the term using the overlap, but this is why it is happened the lack of fusion. Let's see here. You can understand here. This is your welding. This 
parameter definitely it is good and it is used properly after that you can see here this is coming from here to here this area is not welded properly it's not fused properly if you see your leg length and the toe the toe is length is not coming from here to here so it is blind here so it is not the correct welding so this is called the overlap and you can see here also in the T joint you can see and the group joint you understand here your welding should be from here to here here to here but it is coming from here up to this this is extra welding is here you can understand from here to here is the extra welding means this is the overlap this material is not required as per the welding norms as per the WPH if you see this overlap this is the defect you have to remove this overlap condition and uh, you have to uh, you have to create a good welding quality otherwise this overlap can be and can be uh, used as a stress developed there and it can be cracked so you have the why it is overlap is there contamination slow travel speed incorrect welding technique current to low so contamination if it is there is a contamination so definitely the over overlap will be generated slow travel speed if your travel speed is very slow but your melting metal is uh, is very high when your melting metal is very high so definitely the overlap will be generated incorrect welding technique if your welding technique is wrong so definitely it's not as per the WPS and if you are doing as per your own idea definitely the overlap will be there and the current too low if your current too low definitely the overlap means your uh, your melting metal is very slow if it is slow if you are not going as the as per the WPS so definitely the overlap will be generated more metal will be generated at the same places now overlap you understand stow overlap bar to weld it is the actual weld condition you see here this area your overlap bar to weld from here to here this is the extra weld but it is not fused you see from here to here it is not fused the extra weld so this is a defect you see two overlap fillet weld you understand here this is your two overlap fillet weld now we have to check the root defect how many types of root defects are there you see there same it is comes under lack of fusion also fusion is not there that's why it's a complete root fusion incomplete root fusion you see root fusion is not there in that area the left hand side of the parent metal the root fusion is not there that is called incomplete root fusion that is called root defect Incomplete root penetration means the root welding and the first run and the first run in the root they are not penetrated properly. That's called the incomplete root penetration. This is the root defect. Two types of root defect. Why it is happen? Low amperage volt. If it is low amperage and volt, if it is current too low, means you can find out the incomplete root penetration. Means melting power is low. That's why it's not melting in the parent metal large root phase if you see the large root phase if it is not as per the WPS then that area is very difficult to fuse at the time of root welding small root gap if you see the root gap is very small so that also area this is very difficult so how it will be uh, how it will be melted properly in the two air uh, two left hand side and right hand side both area of the parent metal because the root gap when you are doing the welding of the root there is a WPS the WPS mentioned in the correct welding parameter and the root is very important in welding if it is root is bad then the full welding it will be waste so root is very important fast travel speed if it is travel speed is very fast then definitely you cannot get the root penetration means it is not melted properly in your joint incorrect electrode angle if it is electrode angle if it is incorrect what will happen the incomplete root penetration will be there means you are doing like this way 
should be your uh, electrode will be like this way but you are doing like this way with angle some little bit angle so it will not be uh, fused in the left side of the parallel metal so that's called incomplete root fusion contamination if it is definitely there is a contamination you can find out the root defects last is the arc blow if it is arc blow is there is wrong then it can be found the root defect so these are the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 factor is there for the incomplete root fusion or incomplete root penetration. Hope you understand this root defects. Now well root defects radiographic images how you can how it looks like. You can see the lack of root penetration. You see here lack of root penetration how it is. Root penetration you see here. So the whole root is not penetrated properly. There is the density has been changed here from here to here that is called lack of root penetration you can see here this area means it is not fused if this area is okay this area is okay it is fused properly but that area is not fused properly and the parent metal and the old metal so that's why you can say from here to here that is lack of root penetration now lack of root fusion in one is penetration, one is finite fusion, means the right hand side you can see that is fused properly. I mean, this is your weld here, this is no problem, but here it is not penetration or fusion properly. You can understand here. So, this line is coming from here to here, that area is lack of root fusion. Now, that is surface, and now the new uh, things are there. That is one type of defect surface and profile. What is profile defects? Profile defects, surface and profile defects. Profile defects you can see here. You can see in the visually this incomplete field group. You see here incomplete field group. You see here. Anything this type of welding it is not acceptable. You have to go to the good blind of the toe. It should be uh, capping width and the capping height should be as per the norms or as per the WPH is there. Poor cap profile, you see the cap profile is there, it is not accepted at all. Excessive cap height, you see the cap height is too much. This can be generated as a stretch and it can be generated as a crack in future. So profile defect, you can understand incomplete field group, poor cap profile and the excessive cap height. This is the profile defect. Now. In the profile defect, why it is generated? This is very important. Also, same things we can discuss here. The profile defects, it is generated because of the welder, not skill welder. Same also current is problem. Maybe current is very slow or current is very high. Electrode manipulation, all these things will are the cause for this profile defects. Now, RT images you can find out. You see here. Excessive cap reinforcement. This is the density. How it looks like in the full white images is coming. So excessive cap reinforcement. Now you can see incomplete field group. Definitely the black color has come in black images from here to here. Means this area, the incomplete field group means group is not complete properly. Now profile defects. You understood here poor stop and start this is one type of profile defect you see here here from here they complete the finish the run here and they are starting the welding from here but it should be start from here so this is called the poor start and stop you can find out sometimes the cater pipe here this is one type of defect so these are the called the poor stop and start this is called the profile defects you can find out in your exam paper or the exam sample definitely this will be your one type of defect will be there profile defect now some of the miscellaneous defects are there you can find out in your sample see spatter spatter you can find out this see how it looks like so you have to mention the spatter in your exam paper the spatter you have to mark in there in your paper that there is a spatter. Why spatter is generated? This is very important. You have to know. Excessive current. If it is current is more, the spatter will be generated. Damp electrode, 
if it is electrode is damped the battery will be generated contamination if there is a contamination in the in your battery metal or the your uh, electrode or your uh, you can say in your weather so definitely the contamination will be generated and uh, battery will be generated incorrect wire feed speed when welding with the mag welding process if it is mag welding if it is feed speed it's not correct so you can find out the spatter is generated there so immediately you have to control that spatter and uh, you have to check the where it is why it is happen and after that you have to start again welding the arc flow also the main factor miscellaneous defect is comes also the arc style you see the arc style how it looks like so same i already I said in the previous uh, slide the uh, arc strike accidental striking of the arc onto the parent metal so your electrode is doing the welding and suddenly you see the accidentally that electrode in the ongoing condition of the welding that striking in the parent metal so that's called the arc strike faulty electrode holder if it is electrode holder is wrong means your positive and negative the connection is problem it is not rigid properly then definitely the arc strike can be generated poor cable insulation that's why i'm telling the insulation poor cable that is not rigid then it will be arc strike can be generated poor return lead clamping so return that is the return lead clamping is there that clamping is also if it is not uh, proper you have to check uh, properly by electrical engineer or electrical uh, technician so uh, if it is problem you have to return you have to check the new one to remove the arc strike to prevent the arc strike so you understand this is the defect three or four types of defect i have explained here so many defects are there so this is the part one i will explain the part two there is so many defects the defects definitely this type of defects you can find out in your sample paper so i think you understand all this uh, defect why it is happening and what is the cause of this defect thanks a lot for watching the video please like share and subscribe my channel to get the regular video i think you have subscribe you have watching my videos properly thanks a lot